Hi, I'm John Schriever. And I'm Kathleen Schriever. didn't really know what was was happening. We couldn't figure it out. Mm -hmm. We went to a lot of different doctors. Uh, she was suffering from a lot of pain. Yeah. And that was my big concern. And I noticed that when she would hang up clothes, she couldn't hang up her clothes anymore. Everything was askew in the hangers. And I'm going, what's going on here? I thought she was just felt rushed. My name is Dr. Jonathan Woodhouse. I'm the director of the psychology department at Gaylord Specialty Healthcare. I first saw Kathleen in 2016 for a concussion evaluation, and it was clear at that time that she had some serious neurological issues uh, that were unrelated to the concussion. Uh, also, they were unusual in their presentation in that visual spatial skills were profoundly impaired at that time. You know, and you just stop doing a lot of the, 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 the thing, normal We're things you used to do. She used to pay stressful. our bills for us in our, yeah. our house. She used yeah. to take care of all the bills, uh, do the shopping, you know, and, and it, it was it was amazing how much she used to do. And then now, slowly after a while, just start, stopped doing them. And I thought it was maybe just too much work. For many people with rare presentations of dementia, they can go a long time uh, before getting an accurate diagnosis. It makes sense. Uh, many people start with their primary care physician who will do a brief screening with something called a mini mental status exam. And it's very useful for uh, screening and identifying successfully uh, typical forms of Alzheimer's. But then there are those that are atypical forms of dementia, uh, which can go unrecognized, which makes it very frustrating for family members. They can slip through the cracks and, and go quite a while before getting an answer to the question, all the while knowing uh, things are very wrong. She returned to see me in uh, 2019. In the interim, I believe, uh, she they have been to some other doctors and kind of followed the route and the ophthalmologist and weren't quite getting a clear answer. At that time, there was significant progressive decline, particularly in visual spatial skills and a number of the other features like difficulty with numbers. So neuropsychological assessment really has the unique tools to elicit these symptoms. Her husband reported she was having uh, increased difficulty completing tasks at home, including uh, difficulty reaching for objects, uh, that as she would go out to reach for objects, she would land next to them and, and have difficulty picking things up and, and using items uh, in her day-to-day -day life. The combination was very classic for the presentation, given her age and the progression and the unique features with the visual spatial deficits, uh, that she had then met criteria for posterior cortical atrophy, having progressed to a mild dementia syndrome. And now we came to Gaylord at uh, 2019 and then got the diagnosis from uh, John uh, Woodhouse posterior cortical atrophy, PCA. Arriving at that diagnosis became very important. At that time, I recommended that she stop driving and uh, start planning for the future, as it was clear at that point that this would unfortunately continue to progress. Um, definitely come to Gaylord's um, because I think they have a wonderful group of staff here. And I think that they're very helpful. And I, I just coming in and going out, I could see how people are, are getting helped here. It feels very relaxed. I don't feel rushed. And, you know, just the way they meet and greet you, um, give you confidence and listen to what you have to say. My wife, she really is strong. Anything's possible. And uh, that's, that's what I like to try to think about and keep mindful of the day and, and not to worry about, you know, the past or looking forward and keeping our faith, yeah. I think there should be more awareness of the PCA in the medical community. You know, it really is important that everybody should know about these symptoms um, that are subtle. Uh, it's a scary disease, 
it's something you don't want to brush aside. So you want to take full, full on fight. Mm -hmm. And that's what we plan to do.